everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again. This is the Enneagram video about type fours. This is the overview video. I'll be putting out multiple videos about each type, diving a little bit deeper into each video to help you as you move along this self-discovery journey. Or if you are already on the self-discovery journey, hopefully it'll give you some helpful insight to be able to help you as well. Let's dive into the type fours. This video is going to cover the origin of the personality type. What may have happened in the family system was involved in creating this personality type and these patterns for the type four. almost always feel that they are not their parents' children, that they were switched at birth or orphans. They feel they have not been seen by their parents and did not connect sufficiently with them. They tend to identify with the lost child role in family systems theory. The result is that fours believe that something must be profoundly wrong with them. They spend time focusing on what they lack, what is missing in themselves, their lives, and their relationships. They feel abandoned and misunderstood by their parents and later by other significant people. Fours respond powerfully to those who trigger their desire to be seen and appreciated for who they are. On some level, fours are always looking for the parental figures they do not feel like they had. They may view these saviors as someone who can rescue them from their plight. Fours believe they lack, so they have expectations of being completed by others, but this also sets the stage for terrifying fears of abandonment. People who produce less of an emotional response in the four are seen as less real to them. Fours play hide and seek. They hide hoping they will be found. Fours try to stay mysterious and intriguing enough to attract someone who will notice them and redeem them with their love. Self-concealment and self-revelation alternate and can be expressed with such extremes of intensity and need that fours inadvertently drive the longed for rescuer away. Until they can recognize this pattern and see the unrealistic expectations they put on their intimates, fours run the risk of alienating others with their emotional demands. The childhood message of the four, it's not okay to be functional or to be happy. Childhood tendencies, having a creative flair, presenting themselves in a unique way, experiencing and expressing intense feelings, seeing the world differently from others, being caring and compassionate, feeling as if something in them is missing, being inclusive. Fours as children have active imaginations, play creatively alone or organize playmates in original games, are very sensitive, feel that they don't fit in, believe they are missing something that other people have, attach themselves to idealized teachers, heroes, and artists, become anti-authoritarian or rebellious when criticized or not understood, feel abandoned, perhaps as a result of a death or their parents' divorce. Fours as parents help their children become who they really are, support their children's creativity and originality, are good at helping their children get in touch with their feelings, are sometimes overly critical or overly protective, are usually very good with children if not too self-absorbed. Divine attributes, creativity and depth. Core desire, to be seen as unique. Signature sin, envy. Core fear, being overlooked or disregarded. Their hearts long to hear, you are seen and valued for who you are. When thriving, they are self-aware and expressive. Core fears, being seen as too much, being emotionally cut off, feeling mundane, being abandoned, being seen as flawed or defective, not having support, not being authentically themselves. The defense mechanism of the fours. Introspection. They take their feelings of anxiety and pain and incorporate those into their daily sense of identity. They focus on the negative and give very little space for the positive things in their lives. They hear only negative information and dismiss any positive affirmations. They deal with self-inflicted damage rather than respond to criticism or rejection from others. Their sin and passion is envy. 
Force feel as though they have been born flawed or with an essential piece missing. Look at the gifts and talents of others with envy. Believe that if only they had those gifts, they would be able to accomplish greatness. Envy blinds them to their many gifts and talents. It also keeps them feeling inferior and fearing rejection. Envy often keeps them stuck in the present and unable to pursue their passions. They become clinging and excessively needy when exhausted. Core desires of fours. To find their unique significance in the world. To be accepted just as they are. To be understood. To be loved even in the midst of feeling their big emotions. To have other people speak life-giving affirmation. Fours are a part of the heart triad. They are authentic and self-revealing. They maintain images of being unique. They often feel misunderstood. They feel melancholy and lonely. They deal with emotions rather than suppress them. They at times struggle with depression, isolation, and shame. They encourage others to process their emotions. Key four motivations. Being authentic, expressing themselves freely, finding the perfect partner, having space to care for their emotional needs, being accepted as their unique self. Their healthy self-image is authentic and intuitive. Priorities for fours. Exploring what is missing within themselves. Helping others see the world through their unique lens. Seeking ways to make themselves feel valuable. Finding ways to feel complete and satisfied. Fours are settled and calm when fulfilling their purpose. From my experience, the fours that I have been around are extremely creative and deep humans. They feel more than anyone I've ever met in my entire life, which is such a positive attribute. It can be negative because they do have this sense of not being complete and being lacking. But what I have come to know and love about fours is that their depth is so real and beautiful. I have grown to know and love some really great fours. I think that they have so much to offer. If you are a person who is around a four or you think you might be around a four, be very sensitive to their feelings. Their feelings are very important. It's important for them to be able to process. It's important for them to be able to off gas and to let their emotions show and to still be loved and accepted for who they are even though they're doing that. And so it's really important to pay attention to that when you're in any type of a relationship with a four. Please click subscribe and share my video with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching.